Hello there, it's Diorama Don here once more. Uh, brand new project, uh, right from the very start. No idea what I'm going to do, uh, but we've got a base. Uh, but the idea is that uh, if you model a railroad, model railway, uh, you tend to build a tunnel. So you build tunnel portals either end of your tunnel. Uh, the most exciting part about building a railroad really. Uh, but it seems to be excluded for 1 to 35 scale modelers. And I don't see why we can't have one. Uh, so um, we'll build a, a slightly bigger version because uh, 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 model trains are uh, 00 scale or HO scale, which is a lot smaller. Uh, so 135 scale is that much bigger. So uh, what I thought of was having a road coming down there and then the vehicle having just passed through through the portal of a tunnel. So uh, that's the premise of the uh, of the diorama. So what I've done is make the uh, inset just come up a little bit more. So that will be the length of the tunnel, something like that. And then that will be that <laughs> this piece will sit at the back like so to give the shape of the tunnel. And then this will be on the front there. So as you can see, I, uh, I'm making this up as I go along, really. Uh, so that that's that's the basic shape of things. That's that will be the the shape of the finished diorama with a, um, a half track coming through the tunnel uh, and a road continuing along here. Um, I've already cut some. Uh, I'm going to go down again just to make this look a little bit more interesting. There'll be three. But this is all half mil uh, sorry uh, three millimeter cardboard there'll be two uh, what do you call them I've forgotten the names of them support towers either side like that then there will be something in between something like that and then that there just to give it a bit more of an, an interesting shape and uh, then these will all go around around the base so um, I don't know where that bit goes <laughs> when that's all done uh, when we've made it look a little bit more like a tunnel portal then what I've done is in the previous video I showed you how I made uh, my um, stone slabs uh, poured um, grout over uh, over this surface and uh, tamped it down uh, so that it's the same thickness as this two millimeter card either side so as you tamp it down it will give it a uniform thickness and then cut uh, diagonally and vertically across the uh, across the whole of it and now that it's dry the best bit I just ease these up now and I've got plenty of stone slabs that will where are we where'd it go lost it where's my round bit oh, yeah. So when this is on there, these will go all around the arch like so. So it'll be a stone arch. I think you get the idea. Like so. So that's the, the idea. Um, I'll go ahead and stick all these uh, bits and pieces on just to give you a bit better idea of what it'll look like and uh, I'll be back a little later. 
So I've assembled the uh, tunnel portal. Got all the mouldings all around the bottom there and the uh, side um, uh, supporting columns there. Um, and the ones along the top. Uh, this will be a, a like a cycle track or narrow road above the above the uh, the tunnel and then I scored the cardboard just at the back there so that we could pull those over so this will be a brick wall this will be stone and this will be a brick wall and uh, the um, cycle path just starting to go downhill over the uh, having just passed over the bridge so that's where we are at the moment I'll put the uh, the back support in as well not quite sure yet what we'll do at the back but when it's on the it'll look something like that uh, what to do over the back there I'm not sure and what to do out the front I'm still not sure but we are where we are so at least we've got the shape of the portal and uh, I'll uh, do something else I'm not sure what but I'll do something else and I'll be back in a moment so here we go we're all stuck down everything uh, in place uh, the path the path over the top of the tunnel there that's all finished I can't see it <laughs> so that's uh, all ready to be painted uh, reinforcement walls on the side uh, all the coping stones are just uh, pieces of cardboard and then uh, sand, uh, a sh chamfer stand, sanded on uh, all around just to give them that uh, coping, coping stone shape. Uh, I went for a parved area on either side of the tunnel. I thought maybe a grass verge was a bit too obvious. And then uh, barbed wire fencing. Uh, because we're still in a military zone so uh, I, th I thought it would be better with a, a barbed wire fence so that's that's basically all the building done now I've got to uh, paint it and make it look beautiful um, I've got all my uh, stone slabs to go all around the the archway around there <coughs> and the uh, the rest of the the portal itself the rest will be just concrete, a concrete effect. So that will be a lot easier to do. So there we are at the moment. I'll uh, carry on and, uh, and finish it off and I'll, uh, I'll see you in a moment. So there we are all finished. All the stones in place all around the tunnel portal. Uh, side retaining walls all uh, concreted looking. Um, the road all finished so that's oh yeah the guy on the motorbike just try, going over the top so there we are that's my uh, tunnel portal nothing unusual about a tunnel portal but they're normally on double O scale on uh, train uh, uh, sets so uh, unusual for a, a road tunnel portal in 135 scale anyway so uh, not too bad if you've enjoyed this video or you uh, have any questions or comments please comment below please subscribe to the channel if you uh, if you'd like to see other uh, dioramas that uh, <coughs> I will be doing in the future and uh, look forward to seeing you again so uh, happy modeling.